Hey guys, my name is Ekat and today is an advanced cardistry tutorial. But don't be scared by the word advanced. It's just that the previous video that I released that was an advanced tutorial, you guys were a bit upset that I called it basics. Therefore, this is not basics. This is advanced cardistry. And today I'm teaching you trivially by no heat. This move was first released on the Cardistry Hype project with Zach Mueller. I don't think it's for sale any longer, but I checked with No and he was okay for me to teach it to you guys. The way that I performed this beautiful routine is without the fourth triangle formation because I think the first three really drive the point across that you're making these amazing sculptures with a deck of playing cards. If you are a beginner at cardistry, don't worry. Try to learn the first phase, that alone is incredible. Grab your deck of foxes and let's get started. So for mechanics grip, you elevate things at your fingertips. You're going to cut with middle and thumb one third and then one third again. You're going to regrip at this point. You're going to regrip by holding the bottom packet with your ring, freeing your middle finger of your right hand to grab that top packet. Your deck here can relax now and your thumb will come in contact and now you have this top packet between your left thumb and your right middle finger. You're going to use the bottom packet to rotate and pivot everything around. You're then going to grip with the middle left and use your middle right to split. This is a hard thing to do. It's very uncomfortable. You're in this hinge position, left hand. So some of you will try to cut, but I've, I've found that it's easier to just push down and count off two or three cards. That's enough. Now I have two. Let me push down and I feel it that a card is being counted off that middle finger. I then slowly open things up by pulling away with the middle of my right hand and I rotate my left hand up as I rotate this packet in to form that first triangle. And all my fingertips come here like this so that later on they could push in that card for the close. So I can at this point apply pressure, like press into your left thumb and you're able to now pivot. So you're pivoting from bringing your your hand from palm down to palm up. And now you'll see that your fingers here can come in and push inwards to close. And then you can just rotate slightly to grab that packet. See how that packet now hinges between the left thumb and the middle. And you're just using that right hand and closing everything. If you were just to complete the first phase, you would be closing everything together and you're done. Let me show you one more time. You relax here, you regrip, you pivot, you're going to count off here, going to slowly open things up, insert that packet. At this point, press into your left thumb rotate and you can see how your fingers will then push in. Um, you're almost crossing your arms at this point here, your hands. Use your thumb, you're still holding on to this packet and you're here. In this position, you're going to move into phase two, which is going to be lifting See? See how it's out jogged that packet? You're going to lift. And as you lift by pressing down with your left index finger, you're also hinging that packet between the thumb and the middle. 
So you're in this position, you're able to lift. As you lift, you're bringing, you're sliding across your right hand into a triangle, but you're not just into the triangle like this. You want to cut off with your thumb, again, one third of that packet, and you want to then move away and separate, again, relax this packet and mechanics grip or somewhat of a mechanics grip, and now everything is pivoting on the index finger. That is triangle number two. Let's look at how this is formed once again. It is very difficult to get to phase two without doing phase one. So you will see phase one recapped quite often. See how that is what brings you in phase two. You lift, bring everything together. As you're here, press in. So I'm pressing in. My left index is pressing into my thumb of the right hand so that I could pull away afterwards. So my right hand is palm down. I want to bring it palm up. And my left hand is palm up and I want to bring it palm down. So I'm essentially reversing the two directions. And here, watch, watch my... Uh, left hand as it can now grip things but it's going to grip things from the fact that you ha I have fingertips holding on the bottom of the triangle and I'm gonna have a split here so to form the third triangle so essentially phase three I'm ripping this triangle out and I'm pivoting things out like this and I'm, and I'm going to move into being, into being horizontal here. So I am parallel to the ground. And that is very important or else things are gonna fall down. So that is phase three. If phase two is an easy transition triangle into phase three, well, phase three, whew, get ready. Phase three, so see how I'm just splitting things up. Now I am reforming everything in my middle is now the pivot point and you'll see that I'm in the perfect position for a revolution cut the revolution cut is also something you learn from my channel but have you ever tried to revolution cut a triangle <laughs> well that's what it will look like and now you break it apart again into the closure and phase four you do Sputnik a smear fan with this jump start position where you flip your fingers so once again and I think it's the perfect closure because you really end in a really weird closure which is weird because it's it's something that allows him to do phase four in a fourth triangle formation but I find that you end up in a perfect position to do Sputnik fan. So you're here, you close things, you've done the revolution cut. Be very careful, you can't do this too quickly. You see how everything is rotating inside the bottom of my fingertips. See, just like this. And you are done. I'm gonna go in with a strange angle so that you can see what happens with my fingers from here. You're gonna cut one third, one third again. You regrip. That's phase one. You use that packet to pivot. You grip here. See here, I'm counting cards off. I'm forming that triangle, pivoting everything, closing with my fingers here. I'm in phase two, which is the easiest phase. Just like that, you can pivot. You can break. See how it's getting broken down. You're bringing everything up, reforming, getting ready for that revolution cut, only pivoting on the middle of your right hand. And here you go. Sputnik fan closure. And you're done. Final overview before we get into the slow-mo. Regrip. 
Use your index if you need to, to pivot. And there is your first triangle. Press down, rotate, push in. Push, push in again, rotate, break, form the new triangle, start lifting the base here, okay? Start lifting so that you can clear that packet for the revolution cut. A revolution spin. Regrip here so you could break again and close. Sputnik and you're done. Enjoy some slow mos. That's it. I know, it's going to take some practice, but do not get discouraged. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Leave me a thumbs up if you want to see more advanced cartridge tutorials. And with that said, I will see you very soon.